how antivirus work. Today, we'll be learning on the antivirus system and how we can actually evade antivirus to very simple techniques against signature-based detection. There are many different types of viruses. Number one is malware, where the goal of the virus is to create malicious intent onto the victim's computer. That is why it is called malware, mal for malicious. It could be destroying the content in the hard disk or disabling the network capability. Spyware, on the other hand, is to be installed stealthily into the victim's computer and to learn about a victim's behavior. Spyware is software that aims to gather information about a person or organization without their knowledge and that may send such information to another entity. Adware is to run advertisements without your permission on your computer. Because every time those advertisements appear and you run into the links of the advertiser, the hacker who planted the adware gains a certain amount of revenue for displaying the advertisement. Ransomware is causing a huge uproar in today's security market. Ransomware attack a computer and lock out it completely from the victim. The victim is required to send monetary compensation in order to unlock the machine. Worms are self-replicating viruses, which propagates to other computers without the intervention from its creator. It is highly destructive because it literally runs on its own. A Trojan is a virus that allows a computer hacker to maintain access continuously into the system after the initial attack. Because most intrusions require an exploit of a vulnerability. Hence, once a vulnerability is patched, the hacker will lose access to the system. Therefore, a Trojan helps maintain that access by installing a virus into the system that allows the hacker to always log into the system successfully without traditional intrusion. A rootkit is a type of software designed to hide the fact that an operating system has been compromised sometimes by replacing vital executables. Rootkits allow viruses and malware to hide in plain sight by disguising as necessary files that the antivirus software will overlook. Here's an example of how an antivirus system works. Firstly, after the user has installed the antivirus system, the user will need to be continuously connected to the internet in order to receive updates from the antivirus vendor. These updates are known as signatures. These signatures are downloaded into the user's computer to check against the files that are written into the user's computer. To detect such malware, malware detectors look for the absolute binary sequence of the mal code. For example, when a user downloads a file, the content of the file in hexadecimal or binary is compared against a list of known viruses by the antivirus software in the computer. Once detected, it will be removed or quarantined from the computer to ensure that the computer functions normally. One of the major flaws of signature-based detection is that it can sometimes be difficult to detect a well-known virus variant. By altering certain sections of the code of a well-known virus, you can easily bypass antivirus detection because the signature simply cannot match. Creating virus variant is very fast because you already have the baseline code to work with. This meant that signature-based antivirus cannot detect brand new viruses because the engineers have yet to reverse engineer the payload for detection. This buffer time meant that a lot of users will be affected before a signature is available. Once the virus has taken effect, there is a good chance that the antivirus will not be able to patch to the latest security signature list because of blocking from the virus. A key point of this presentation is how to avoid antiviruses which have been a goal for security analysts and computer hackers. Encoding payload ensures that the signature-based antivirus will fail to find a signature within your malware, making the entire attack stealthy and seamless, completely bypassing antivirus detection. Another form of antivirus system is anomaly-based detection. This type of detection technique checks the running program for patterns of behavior. So it gathers information about the inspected process to find odd behavior. Again, if the user downloads a malicious file, instead of checking the file against a list of known viruses, it checks what does the attachment do to the computer. If the file starts automatically deleting operating system files, or open support, or any other malicious activity, the attachment will be flagged out and quarantined. This is a particularly useful way for stopping many kind of known malware because there is no signature mismatch. 
The best way to stop detection is to develop viruses that are self-made that simply cannot be detected by antivirus systems. Because antivirus systems check against well-known viruses, which generally build using certain frameworks or known signatures. All these code injectors ensure that antivirus cannot detect them because they are built in unconventional methods. All this leads to zero-day attacks very quickly because of its unstructured manual development. Therefore, antivirus systems have to focus very heavily on anomaly-based detection instead of signature-based detection. In fact, a combination of anomaly and signature-based detection will help detect and prevent most of the malicious virus attacks.